Hi everyone, uh, this is Jopke and here I'm using a piece of cardboard uh, that was actually the, the back side of a notepad and I've cut it in a size so it could be a card. I'm not sure what the measurements are exactly because it's been quite a while since I uh, recorded this video. Um, what I did first was um, putting some gesso on both sides and now I am stamping uh, with the black ink and some floral stamps and some script stamp uh, to make the background a bit interesting and then the next thing I do is um, uh, put down some uh, small pieces of dry wall paper for some texture and uh, again I am using the gesso to tone down um, a bit uh, the background a bit the the black ink then uh, I'm using an acrylic paint I lost a bit of footage here but I've added the acrylic paint with a baby wipe and again I am going in with the gesso just to uh, blend and mix in um, the colors. These are some gelatos by Faber-Castell. Um, just fiddling around with the background trying to make it interesting um, and um, give it a nice color and a nice uh, blend and this is a, an aqua kind of color and a gray one and um, using my baby wipe to tone it down a bit so it's been a while since my last uh, video and that is because we are in the middle of renovating our house and it's a complete chaos here and a complete mess. Um, I've lost my uh, little craft corner. I did a video about that uh, a while ago and I moved all my stuff uh, upstairs. Uh, so I uh, have a room upstairs now where um, I can uh, craft and my computer is there as well. So um, the house is still a mess and I don't have any inspiration for crafting. And luckily I had uh, one video, uh, uh, well actually two videos left for editing and um, that's what I'm doing now so you have something to watch and hopefully my inspiration will be back very soon uh, I, I can craft now because I have a great room I will make a, uh, a little video of that uh, soon as well and uh, so you know uh, why it took so long for me to do another video so here I what I have Done. I've played with uh, some more Faber uh, Castell gelatos and the baby wipe I uh, used for bringing back the texture of the drywall tape. And here I pulled out some stuff of which I thought could be nice to use on this um, piece of cardboard. Um, this is some burlap, a colored burlap in a teal kind of color and um, I'm using the fibers that I pulled out uh, to make another element embellishment on my uh, piece. So these are some wooden um, uh, embellishments and I'm using the tag and uh, this is an, a kind of gold um, silky paint I'm not sure uh, is it Viva I, I'm not sure um, on top of that I'm using some crackle paste and I wasn't sure but it turned out to be that the paint isn't um, <coughs> sorry permanent so the white crackle paint uh, um, 
got the color of the of the silky paint like you see here now it's started uh, to go green <laughs> but it had some nice crackle on it so I was happy with that and I'm gluing it down with a gel medium by Golden I usually always uh, use uh, that stuff if I have to glue down some heavier uh, things um, it's a very good glue um, for that here I have splattered a bit with the dilutions ink spray and now I'm going to uh, embellish my cardboard a bit more this is an elastic piece of rope or thread um, that I'm going to use and here I am fiddling around and trying to um, find a way to make it all look nice on my um, card using a masking piece of masking tape to hold down the elastic thread and then go around the cardboard and um, stick it down with another piece of masking tape and here I'm I have decided to use this earring really it's an ear clip and I thought the clip that is on the back uh, would be perfect to um, um, to actually use to stick down this earring on uh, the card but first I have torn some tiny bits of book text paper which I am gluing down uh, on top of the earring uh, with the Mod Podge um, thought that could be nice and it is I thought uh, it looked much better that way and I'm using this gold paste to go around the edges um, so hopefully the renovating part of our house will be done in uh, a month or so well maybe it will take a bit longer I'm not sure we have a lot of things to do still um, we are renovating the downstairs completely um, the living room will uh, doesn't need that much but it will get a fresh layer of paint a new floor and we are doing the dining room and the kitchen and oh it's a really a mess and I've nowhere to hide and to feel my uh, and to um, um, find a cozy place really um, so I'm very happy with my new craft room now upstairs so I spend my days upstairs um, so I can uh, escape the mess downstairs so fiddling around still with some embellishments I got in happy mail from honey and uh, I, I, I got this word create also in happy mail and um, I'm fiddling around with it because I thought it would look great on this piece of uh, mixed media but I, I couldn't find the right spot for it so eventually uh, I left it and didn't put it on and here there this is some glitter uh, thread that I um, put on, uh, also put on this piece and I use my glue gun for that hope you enjoyed this uh, little video and um, hope to see you again very soon with some new and freshly made art journal or mixed media pieces have a great day bye bye